Good afternoon. If everyone can have a seat, um, we're going to get started shortly. It's so exciting this year to see a regular graduation. I'm so excited about this and I want to thank you all so much for coming. It's really nice for us here at the school and for our students to be able to have a regular graduation ceremony and to have all the people that they want to come. It's wonderful. Um, I want to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is the traditional unceded territory of the Passamaquoddy people. Please stand to welcome the class of 2022. remain standing for O Canada. The O Canada that we're choosing to play this year is the same one we played last year and it is a bilingual or trilingual version of O Canada.
be seated. I'd like to say welcome to everyone. Um, I'd like to say a special welcome to the, the parents and the families of the grads. It's really nice to see you here. Director Derek O'Brien is with us today. His honor, the Mayor Harvey Matthews. And a special welcome to the class of 1972. We have at least one member of the class of 72 here. I'm going to list their names off. Judith Calder, who is now Moffitt. Alan Matthews, who's a former teacher at this school. Alan and Stuart Mitchell, who are the grandparents of Landon, um, one of our graduates. Gary Chute, Wanda Newman. Garnet Chute, Francis Lank, who's now Smith. David Mills and Valerie Calder, who is now maybe, who's sitting over in the in the class of 72 section. So that's the, this is their 50th um, 50th anniversary since they graduated. Um, Garnet Chute sent us a really nice email when we um, emailed him to invite him to graduation. He he replied, and I just want to read some of what he wrote. It's quite it's quite funny. Um, class of 22, I want to thank you for your kind invitation for our class of 72. 50 years have passed very quickly. Seems like yesterday that I attended grades 1 to 3 in Welsh Pool with one teacher with a leather strap who kept us all in line. I received it once on the hands for throwing snowballs at the girls. The daily cod liver oil pills were also a memory. Then the next seven years at the old school on the Hill and Wilson speech near the Baptist Church. They were a joy learning through the SRA reading labs while, busy, while the busy fishing boats provided a beautiful backdrop. We enjoyed the next years at the new CICS, but the wood scenery never changed. I loved shop with Mr. McBrien and survived Principal Estabrooks. So I thought that was really nice that, uh, that he replied and gave us a little bit of his history. The flowers on the stage are placed by the class of 22 in memory of staff, family, and friends who have passed. I'd like to invite Ryan Preston at this time to give the salutatory address. On behalf of the class of 2022, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who came out today to celebrate this day with us and for believing in us all these years. Well, guys, we made it. From preschool with Miss Calder all the way through COVID, 13 hard years finally paid off. We couldn't have done it without the support the teachers and parents gave us throughout this journey. I would personally like to thank Mr. Conley for all his help over the past two and a half years. Without him, I wouldn't be here where I am today. I would also like to thank Miss Searles and Miss Slay for giving up their lunch break to help me get caught up when I'm in school to go fishing. I would like to leave you with a quote by Adam Grant. It pays to be smart, but it pays more to be determined, disciplined, dependable, and driven. Thank you, Ryan. Very well said. This time I'd like to invite Derek O'Brien to come bring greetings from the district. Good afternoon, everyone, to all of our guests and to Principal Carton and Vice Principal Conley. It's very nice to be here once again after several years of not being able to have these great events and having to make arrangements otherwise. To all of the graduates here at Campobello Island Consolidated School, congratulations. On behalf of the superintendent of our school district, the staff of Anglophone South, and the District Education Council, I bring our congratulations. I know this is a very exciting time for you, and interestingly enough, when Mrs. Carton mentioned that it's, we have guests here who graduated 50 years ago, I'm sure you're all thinking like I did for a long time, holy, 50 years is a long time since to, to be graduated. Well, I will tell you that it goes by really quickly, because I still tell people that it's only been 10 years since I graduated, and I can tell you I'm getting closer to our guests who are at 50 years, so it goes by very quickly. This is a great opportunity as you move on, and I hope you'll think back to all of the memories that you had here at Campobello Island Consolidated School and what your plans are going to be for the future. Celebrate all of those times that you had some exciting school trips. Think about all of those pranks that you played on teachers, and I know there's even something in the wind about confetti later on today, but that would be typical 
of anyone here at Campobello School, I can tell you that. All of the activities that you've been involved with, the athletics, science fair, and heritage fair, all of those projects, remember them, you're probably rolling your eyes, but not as much as your parents are rolling their eyes. You got through all of those exams that you had to do and got all of those assignments in, and now you can sit back and laugh about all of those things and maybe shed a tear about some of those stories as well. We hope that your journey with us has been rich and rewarding, and we are confident that you have the skills and the competencies now to do even greater and better things as you go forward, working in your communities, as you attend colleges or universities, whatever your choices might be, and we encourage you to find your passion. You are surrounded today by lots of people who are extremely proud of seeing you in these caps and gowns. These people love you for the person who you are, and they have tremendous support for you. They've shown you that for 13 years, and they'll continue to show you that, and please make sure that you rely on them. Your parents, your teachers, all of the school staff, friends and grandparents and other relatives and members of this community have helped you along your journey. Offer them your gratitude and know that they do want to continue to support you along your path, just not on the couch in their basement, so keep that in mind. To all of you, the graduates of 2022, we are extremely proud of you. Congratulations and best of luck. I would like to introduce our guest speaker today. Uh, our guest speaker has spent a great deal of her life at CICS, first as a student and then a teacher. Uh, she is loved and respected by students and staff. She has a special connection with the class of 2022 through their Food for Future Heroes fundraising work. Please help me welcome Gina Dembo as she prepares to give her last lesson to the class of 2022. Thank you, Mr. Conley. Good afternoon. Mr. O'Brien, Mrs. Carton, Mr. Conley, fellow staff members, family, friends, and specifically, class of 2022. I am both honored and pleased for being asked to speak here today. I began teaching this group when they entered middle school back in 2015. I taught them mainly language arts and social studies, and for most classes, once they leave middle school and go on to high school, I occasionally see them in the halls to say, hey, how's it going? But the relationship ends there. For this class, I continued to have a relationship with them throughout their high school years. Although they weren't necessarily students in my classes, they stopped by my classroom to say hi, sometimes ate lunch with me in the resource room, came to my office to chat, and many continued to be part of the Food for Future Heroes group. When I was asked if I would speak today, I immediately thought of the dozens of stories that I could tell. Remember the play you wrote and performed about Louis Riel? That has to be one of my highlights with you. How about that overnight trip to the Huntsman Marine Station, walking to Tim Hortons in sub-zero weather and searching for marine life on a beach in a snowstorm? Do you recall the field trip to Fredericton in the New Brunswick Sports Museum? And what about all those fundraisers that we planned, like the carnivals, bake sales, raffles and the bingo nights. I recall making paper cranes and you wanting to make a thousand like Sudeiko did in the book that we were reading. And writing the book with Mendy and his students is definitely one of my proud moments. And especially when you all decided to commit your t time and money, or t your, commit your time and effort to raise money for students in a school in Sierra Leone, Africa, whom you knew nothing about but wanted to help. All those times you thought that you were getting me off track about talking about ball games and asking me about my personal life, I was well aware of your tactics. And I took that opportunity to learn more about you and assess speaking and listening skills. Over the years, you've told me that one of the main things that you miss most about being in my class is when I used to read to you. So, for one last time, I would like to read a book. Bear with me as I'm going to turn my back to you and face them. Oh, the, it's picking me up. Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. 
congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy that will know where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go, any, go down any not so good street. And you may not find any that you want to go down. And in that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there, in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, because you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to great heights. You won't lag behind, because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang, and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you'll be top of the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true, that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on, and fly on, and you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then you'll end up in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could frame both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you should go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters, or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, and I'm afraid you'll find for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start, you'll start in to race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward the most unpleasant place, the waiting place. For people just waiting. Waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or no or waiting for the hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. They're waiting for the fish to bite or waiting for wind to fly a kite or waiting around for Friday night or waiting perhaps for Uncle Jake or a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls or a pair of pants or a wig with pearls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where the boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready, because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things that you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame. You'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win, because you're playing against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, whether, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. Those, there are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much that you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though the enemies prowl. On you will go through the hacking crap howl. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike. And I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your like, right foot and your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will, indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kids, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Ashton? 
or Jessica, or Maddie, or Aiden, or Harper, or Landon, or Ryan, or Declan, or Emma. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Graduation, it's the end of a major chapter in your life, but it's also just the beginning of many adventures to come. Now is the time for you to move on to what's next, but you must not let anything get in your way from taking those first steps. Don't spend so much time trying to find that perfect opportunity so that you miss the right opportunity. Recognize that there will be failures and acknowledge that there will be obstacles. But me remember, you're gonna learn from your mistakes and the mistakes from others, and there's not much learning in success. It's up to you to take those first steps. Figure out what works best and what doesn't, and adjust accordingly. And at the end of the day, as long as you keep striving to be the best that you can be, learn every step of the way, you'll never veer into the wrong track. I'd like to leave you with two quotes. Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Never stop dreaming. Even when you think your dreams have come true, dream again, dream bigger. And Mark Twain said, don't go around saying the world owes you a living. The world owes you nothing, it was here first. So get out there, choose a path, and do your best. Congratulations, and thank you for having me speak today. has a few presentations to make. <laughs> Madame Chu, could we have you come over here, please? Uh, Madame Chute very graciously uh, helped the grads today in putting together the slideshow, which if any of you have had a child graduate you before, you know the slideshow is a long and arduous process. And so we really appreciate Madame Chute doing that. Miss Lee, can you come over here for a minute, please? Miss Lee helps the grads out with their yearbook. And they are very, very appreciative of um, all that she did to help them with their yearbook this year because she really puts a lot into it. And uh, Amanda, would you mind coming up here for a minute, please? If everything in here looks absolutely beautiful, which it does, this is the woman that did it. She organized um, so much and put so much work into helping the grads get organized and make sure that they stayed on track with get, making everything happen. Thank you very much. One of the 50-year grads, Alan Matthews, and uh, former principal, um, Ross uh, Stevenson, and the athletic director, Tom Hendershot, used to sing a trio um, where they would tell funny stories about the grads. And um, the teachers and I have tried to kind of keep that tradition alive, and I keep trying to get them to sing with me every year. I ask Mrs. Searles, I ask Miss Lee, they just won't sing with me. So, you've got me. For 13 years they've grown into a hearts, yeah. The carnivals with Mrs. D.C.O. Two cars with Conley and music with your favorite me. I knew it. You made it through. Some office. 
office trips and lessons learned, you know it. Declan learned to play guitar and Maddie learned to fix her car and Aiden asked the manager, we know it, on a trail hike that you chauffeur to her classmates. Ashton likes the pizza song. He sometimes played it all class long while Emma tried hard not to yawn and sleep. Yeah, she would doze off. Miss Lee would say tough. Gotta wake up for by all. Declan likes his ketchup chips, and Emma, look, you didn't quit. You made it through just like we knew you could do it. Harper's name is on TV with Johnny and still standing, and Landon's learning Greek and Latin too, yeah. In his top hat, he is all. Jessica. Jessica is our valedictorian. I'd like to invite Jessica to come give her valedictory speech. So I'd like to start this off by saying thank you to all my teachers, family, and friends for helping me through these four years of high school. I honestly don't know where I'd be without you guys. You helped me so much to get to where I am today, and you've all helped me so much to become the person that I am today. Just to think that it feels like yesterday was our first day of freshman year, thinking that this is now our graduation has honestly hit me like a truck. And to quote entrepreneur Michael Alster, um, bad news is time flies and good news is that you're the pilot. Now there's one thing that I'd like to tell my friends and younger students, is if you put your mind to it and that your dreams, you have all the dreams you have in life, you can 100% succeed in no matter what. Um, just put yourself out there and whatever comes up in life, just take a deep breath in and just say, oh, I'm ready or I can do this and you got it. <laughs> um, because again, you can do whatever put your, you can do whatever for you put your mind to and I 100% believe in every single one of you. Oh, um, and a note from your teachers, do your homework. Um, at most, if not all of my teachers know that that's not much coming from me because I usually do my homework the morning of or 10 minutes before class. But for your teacher's sake, don't do what I did. <laughs> um, 
Um, and there's one more quote that I'd like to end this with, and that is, the only impossible journey is the one that you never start, by Anthony Robbins. And now as a class of 2020, 2022, we all realize that we have so many people to thank for getting us to where we are today, so we would just like to stand up and say thank you. Thank you, Jessica. All right, Miss Lee is going to play the slideshow, and I know a lot of the grads are really looking forward to this because they haven't seen it yet. So this is it, that's how it ends, I guess there's nothing more romantic than dying with your friends and I'm not sorry. There's Danny on his John Deere, brand new, 96, beside me and Bandy, playing fetch when I was a kid. I saved the day, best day of my best buddy's life. Anybody else could walk on by and not blink an eye. Cause they're just pictures hanging side by side. Forgotten memories from another time.
watching the slideshow because even though we know them for all 13 years that they're here in school you forget <laughs> how cute they are when they're little and how cute they are when they grow up all right the grads have a special presentation to make to their parents
your head out in that cold Don't forget to take your coat TV saying snow Keep in mind That old car of yours Ain't no good on slippery roads And I won't sleep a wink with you out there As you head out in that cold, don't forget to take your coat. TV saying snow, keep in mind that old car of yours ain't no good on slippery roads, and I won't sleep a wink with you out there all alone. I know those dreams you're trying to chase. You.
class of 2023 has some going away gifts for our grads, so I'd like to ask Belle and Rihanna and Ramsey to come on up. is off to school in the fall. Study, work hard, and have a ball. Wonder if they have a question box there. You'll need sticky notes for your roomies to share. <laughs> Ryan's goal takes him to a Red Seal trade. In St. Andrews, we know he will have it made. An electrician job where he hope he lands. He'll need these gloves to play. Declan could always be found in the shop, cutting, measuring, working nonstop, but on the break and off the clock. Get your chips and Declan can make an amazing TikTok. <laughs> Aiden loves science class the best. Oh, oops, we think he made a mess. A chemical shower was needed, that's for certain. If he needs another, here's a new shower curtain. <laughs> Jess, Jess, our highlighter queen, her collection is the most beautiful you've ever seen. For school in the fall, she'll need a ton of stuff. Here's five new highlighters. Is that enough? <laughs> Harper's not shy, as we all know. He ended up on the Still Standing show. Before he... <laughs> before we all... like to ask before he leaves. Hey Harp, can I have your autograph, please? <laughs> Maddie is always driving around from lighthouse to lighthouse, she can be found. Maddie should have this backup car and without these zip ties, she won't get far. Ashton's been waiting for this day for years. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hold back the tears. Ashton, don't forget to turn off the burner. You'll also need this grilled cheese turner. Thank you, ladies. All right, we are very, very fortunate to have Mr. Brian Flynn here this year. He is no stranger to our school and he loves helping students uh, gain an interest in music and he's influenced a lot of our students quite a bit with his music. Thank you so much.
Thank you. I love that song so much. Declan, can you come down for a minute? At this point uh, of the afternoon, we'll move towards our uh, scholarships and awards. So could I please invite uh, Turk to come on up to present the Campobello Veterans Scholarship. Next, we'll have Ramsey Foster present the Robert Hilton Lank Memorial Scholarship. The 2022 Robert Hilton Lank Memorial Scholarship goes to Emma Tinker. Jamie Brine will present the Dana E. Mitchell Memorial Scholarship. Recipient of an NB Proud Award, Jessica Green. The re 
recipient for the Nancy and Roger Klein Memorial Scholarship, Masonic Lodge in Lubeck, and the Michael Breton Memorial Scholarship, Aidan Matthews. The next award is one that is not generally presented at graduation. The Turnaround Achievement Award is a district award that recognizes students from each school who have made positive changes in their life. Unfortunately, we were unable to attend the district banquet this year, so I would like to take this opportunity to recognize our recipient. I have had the pleasure to teach, work, and learn with Ryan Preston for the better part of seven years. Ryan has always been a dedicated student who shows respect to his teachers and peers and rarely misses a day of school. I consider Ryan to be a true student leader in our building. In fact, those who know Ryan well may be surprised that he is being honored with a Turnaround Achievement Award simply because of his consistent dedication to his education and school. However, there has always been a quality of Ryan that his teachers knew he possessed but Ryan often did not see it in himself. Ryan often doubted himself and his ability and would seek reassurance, even in situations when his teachers had complete confidence in him. Ryan was forced to address this self-doubt in grade 10 when he enrolled in the Essential Skills Achievement Pathway Program. For those who are unfamiliar with the Essential Skills Program, it is an emerging pathway to graduation in New Brunswick, which provides students with the flexibility about what they learn and fosters the ability to learn independently. As, Ryan, as Ryan's essential skills teacher, I wanted him to recognize his ability to learn and problem solve and have the confidence needed to achieve his goals after high school. I remember the day that I knew my hope for Ryan was becoming a reality. Ryan had only been in the essential skills program for a few months and he approached me to ask a question about a project he was working on. Ryan began to ask his question, but stopped. He smiled and said, never mind, you're gonna tell me to Google it. And he returned to his work, solving his own problems and answering his own questions. Since that day, Ryan has continued to grow as an independent learner, completing numerous projects and building skills that will serve him well in his future. Ryan Preston is also the recipient of the Marcia Stanley Memorial Scholarship, NVCC Entrance Scholarship, Campobello Library Association, Alan Seeley Memorial, donated by Dennis and Margaret Hare, Ted Tedford Rotary Merit Bursary, CUPE Local 2148, a finalist for the MB Pratt Award, and receives a Viking letter. Finally, Ryan is also the recipient of the Governor General's Award, which goes to the graduate with the highest overall average. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, recognizes students who have achieved the highest academic average. On behalf of Her Excellency, the Right Honorable Mary Simon, Governor General of Canada, I am pleased to present the academic award to Ryan Preston. yesterday with me saying their full names and them coming up, but I didn't tell them I was going to do this. <laughs> Ashton, he's kept us in stitches the last few years. He is consistently cheerful and he always wants to help others if, he need, if they need it. This spring in his co-op, he helped out with organizing the office and the library. 
We will miss you, Ashton, and we can't wait to see what your future holds. Ashton James Fry. Victorian. Jessica is very dedicated to marine life. She did a personal study one semester where she really dug into learning about whales and the importance of protecting their habitat. She's going to UNB for a Bachelor of Science with a plan to focus on marine biology. We are excited to hear of the great things you will do, Jessica. Jessica Renee Green. She looks out for people and she'll speak her mind to protect someone or to tell them straight up if they're wrong. She has a strong moral compass and we know this will serve her well in her future endeavors. We will miss you, Maddie. Maddie Randy May Henderson. first memory I have of Aiden is when he was in kindergarten. He was in the hall by the cafeteria and he was pretending to karate kick one of his friends. And I looked at him and I said, Aiden, that's not appropriate. He looked totally dismayed and to my knowledge he has never strayed from the straight and narrow since that day. <laughs> he is a kind and thoughtful friend and he always tries to do what's best for everyone. Aiden is he headed to NBCC where we know he will be successful. Good luck, Aiden. Aiden John Harvey Matthews. <laughs> Harper, in the summer of 2018, Harper had a job at the lighthouse talking to tourists and giving tours. In August that year, I got an email from a couple from the States who had visited Campobello that summer telling me that they had met Harper and what a nice young man he was and that he represented our community well. Harper's ability to find common interests with others and talk about his own experiences will serve him well in the future. Good luck, Harper. Harper Keith Matthews. Landon couldn't be with us today, but um, he's with us in spirit, I'm sure. He is an amazing talent when it comes to music, as we all know. He's interested in learning all instruments, and it doesn't take him very long to master them. We know he has a bright future ahead in whatever he plans to do. Ryan. Ryan is the heart of the class. He always seems to know instinctively what is the best choice to make, and he consistently makes it. We can always rely on him to help out even when we don't ask, and he is equally thoughtful and helpful with his friends. Ryan is planning to go to NBCC to study industrial re electrical. Ryan Cole Preston. <laughs> has a witty sense of humor and a wide grin that always gets everyone smiling. He is a student with many talents from being a self-taught musician 
to learning to design and build a coffee table in a cupboard. We know that he will be a success in whatever he decides to do because of his determination and creative mind. Declan Mark Seeley. Actually, I forgot, I forgot about Emma yesterday when we were practicing, and I promised her I wouldn't forget her today. <laughs> Emma is the philosopher of the class. She would frequently come up with deep questions that were sometimes related to the topic in class, but always entertaining. She is planning on attending Renaissance College UNB in the fall, and this will be a great fit for her. We'll miss those conversations, Emma. Emma Dawn Tinker. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022.